Howdy campers, welcome to your very first SAS tutorial. Wow. Okay then guys, so what is SAS exactly? SAS is basically just an extension to CSS and it can help us write more flexible styles. And the way we do that is by using things like variables, functions, conditional statements, etc. So with all these new tools available to us in SAS, you'll find yourself being able to write styles that are much easier to do in SAS than normal CSS. It also lets us split up our files into modules, making it much easier to keep on top of CSS for larger projects. So for example, we could have a module for a reset, a module for some base styles, a module for some grid styles, etc. And then at the end, we just lump all of those together to make one core file. Now, when we write in SAS, browsers are not going to understand our code. It is not CSS we're writing in, it's SAS, which is completely different, even though it looks quite similar. Okay, so what we need to do is take that SAS once we've finished it and translate it into CSS so that a browser can understand it and display those styles on a web page. And finally, SAS is written in Ruby, so depending on how you're going to be using SAS, you may need to install Ruby on your computer and I'll show you where you can download that later on. Okay then, so in this playlist, what we're gonna be doing is making up a simple website like this that you can see on your right and we're gonna be making that using SAS only, okay? So I've already gone ahead and created the core files that we're gonna need such as this index.html file and some base styles right here in the reset. So I'm gonna upload these to GitHub and you can download those and you can start where I'm starting then so you don't need to do all of the reset styles and the HTML that we're going to start with. And then we're going to work through creating some SAS files in this folder right here, the SCSS folder. Now, what we're going for is these four files right here. These are going to be the final files that we create. So I'm going to include those on the GitHub repository as well. So you can kind of meander through those if you like as well. So like I say, you can get all those files from my GitHub repository, the SAS playlist one. And I'm going to leave a link to this page down below in the description so you can go here and uh, download the files by clicking this download zip for, uh, button right there. And uh, one more thing, I am going to be using Atom to write all of my coding for this playlist. It's a really cool free text editor. All you need to do is go to atom.io. I'll leave that link down below as well and click download Windows installer. And finally, before you start this playlist, there's a couple of things you probably should know first. SAS is very much like a programming language. Like I said, we can use things like variables, functions, if statements, etc. So you should be comfortable with these programming fundamentals before you start this playlist, essentially. And the next thing you need to know is CSS, because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to create, a CSS folder, uh, file using SAS. So I've got playlists on JavaScript, if you want to check out the programming fundamentals in that. And I've also got a CSS playlist as well, if you want to check that out. I'll leave the links to both of those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.